Hey guys, uh, I got a couple or more than a couple requests for a settings video uh, related to like my PvP settings and what I have going on. So I just wanted to go and show you guys that real quick. Uh, so this is overall, you can pause the video here if you want and you know just copy everything that I do. But there's a few things I want to go over and tell you guys you know what they do and why I have them checked or why I don't have them checked. Uh, I keep my view distance low because it's way easier to see people from far away and then you know if you're farming or whatever you want to see metal the resources you want to farm turn it on high it's probably fine but it also makes stuff load a lot faster for me so you know try to keep it on low uh, the rest of it I have running pretty low because my computer's pretty bad <laughs> uh, it's not really very updated at all so that's the reason I got everything running low uh, motion blur should be off uh, that seems obvious to a lot of people but I, I've had a couple of tribe mates in the past where they turn their stream on and I almost throw up because their motion blur is on and you just can't see things when you turn. So make sure that is off. Uh, honestly, these should be down. Make it you know less cluttered. Uh, let's see what else. This should pretty much be good. Uh, I've been told to turn on disable third person camera interpolation makes me makes my computer run a little better I don't really know exactly what it does but you know I'd make sure that's on uh, your camera FOV should be all the way to the right that gives you way more field of view when you're in third person and in first person uh, your shake scale should be all the way down if somebody's running up on you with a Giga or a Bronto or anything that's large like that your camera should not be shaking all over the place it's it's really bad it makes it so you can't do anything uh, effectively get into the advanced settings uh, you know a lot of this is uh, kind of by choice you can have skins on if you want them on but I prefer to have them off uh, you should have join notifications on so you see people joining up top on uh, especially on Steam uh, a lot of this stuff is already by default you should, uh, if you're you know if you're a youtuber or a streamer or anything you should hide your server info uh, and if you're also a streamer you should hide like put a little tag over the daytime on your inventory so people can't see what server you're on by what day you're, what day it is. I uh, should show tribe name, show Steam ID, all that stuff. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Uh, personally, I have crosshair off, and then usually I'm running a little custom crosshair in the middle. I don't have it on right now. I can turn it on, but uh, I'm running a little tiny red dot because if you're trying to shoot somebody and you have that massive cross in the middle, uh, you can't even see their head behind the cross. So I prefer the little dot. Uh, I'll try and find what website I used for this and put a link in the description. Uh, disable menu transitions is a big one. No one, not not a lot of people have this on, and it makes your inventory open so much faster. And when you're transferring all, uh, it doesn't make you like ex transfer all and then accept. You can just transfer all and you know go about your business. And that is that is about it. If you guys wanted to copy, uh, you know exactly what. I am doing uh, my I and I is is not really an I and I to be totally honest uh, it, I see everything normal I just don't get flashed by Z's and uh, I in the ocean bomb so I can show you guys uh, the water real quick uh, it's all pretty see-through so this is not what normal water looks like but I will put my I and I in my discord I'll, I'll drop my discord link down below if you guys join, you can have my I and I. I'll put it in a channel and uh, make sure you guys can copy paste that. So, yeah, I think that's it. These are my stats. Uh, not that that's really important in a settings video, but yeah, these are uh, my settings, and I honestly I think they're pretty solid. Uh, just short of using a hardcore I and I where you can see through literally everything, I think it's a pretty good choice. So, here you guys go. Have a good day.